Ronnie J here from internetradiostation.com and in this video I am going to show you how to set up your encoders. You're not going to be able to stream uh, any information from your computer whether that be mp3s or your voice until you have an encoder set up. So let me show you how to do that. Now before you can set up your encoder you're going to have to get some information from your stream host provider and I covered this in a previous video, but I'll review it here. You are going to need your server IP address, your server port, your password, and I might want to include here your bitstream rate. So to do that, uh, you can go to your desktop A. In my example, I have uh, an encoder window set up here. I also have in my desktop B an encoder window set up. You can set them up here or any window that you have an encoder window set to. On my desktop C, I don't have an encoder set up on this one, but I could. But I'll go to desktop A. And I should also mention that in this video, I'm going to show you also how to set up your statistic relays. In fact, the same information you enter in to set up your encoders is the same information you will set for your statistic relays. All right, so let's do our encoders first. To do that, uh, you can either right click on this area and click new, or you can click on the plus button here and it brings up this box. And since we're talking about shoutcast servers, we're going to stream MP3. So we're going to select the MP3 lame encoder. You could use the MP3 Pro encoder, but uh, it will give you a higher quality, but not all audio players can play this. So you're safer to use the MP3 lame encoder. Once you've done that, click OK. Next, on the converter tab here, we want to set the bit rate. Now, the number that you put here depends upon what you got from your stream host provider. In my case, I have a server that allows me a bit rate of up to 128 kilobits per second. So I can pull this down. I can select anything from 128 and below. If I go above 128 kilobits per second, my stream will not go through. So I'm going to stream at uh, 96 kilobits per second. That's near CD quality. And the mode is stereo. And the sampling rate, you could leave at auto or you could select 44,100. Over to the right under general options, leave everything as it is. I would recommend that you tick on the auto start encoder after five seconds. Leave the box that says allow scripts and stream unchecked. Then click on the server details tab here. And you have here your server types. You have Shoutcast, Live 365, Icecast, and No Server. I'm not going to do anything with Live 365 or Icecast, but let's say, for example, if you want to do a No Server, what is that? So if you click on No Server, this is basically telling you that you want to record your streams without having to stream them. So if you pick that, then you go here where it says Stream Archive, then you check that. And I recommend here that what you want to do is to change this file path to, say, an external hard drive. Because when you're recording your streams, uh, one after another, uh, your hard drive space can quickly diminish. But since we're not doing that, I'm going to go ahead and untick this, go back to server details, and select Shoutcast. Shoutcast has two different flavors. It has a version 1 and a version 2. And on the website, I explained to you the differences between version 1 and version 2. Version 1 allows you to send one stream. Version 2 allows you to send multiple streams. Well, I have a version 1 server. Uh, most of you out there will have a version 1 server. Uh, setting up version 2 is a little bit more complicated. So just go with what you know. If you have a version 1 server, select version 1. It is here, server IP, server port, and password that I will enter in the information that I have right here that I got from my stream host account. So under server IP, I'll copy and paste in this IP address. Server port, let's copy and paste in that information. 
and my password. Over to the right hand side under station details, type in your station details, and I'll type in Rip Radio, smooth jazz. And under genre, you can type in or pull down a particular genre that you're interested in. I'm gonna go ahead and type in smooth jazz. Enter in your website URL and everything else you can leave as it is. Then click OK. And you notice over here that uh, the encoder information is placed here and it is attempting to connect to that server. But nothing's gonna happen right now because my server at my stream host account is turned off. So I'll have to go there and turn it on. And I'll do that in a few moments. Right now, since we are into the SAM Broadcaster control panel here, I want to also set up a statistical relay. Under statistic relays, to set that up, you click on the plus symbol button here and you select shoutcast statistic relay radio button and then click OK. And you'll get this dialog box. Under host, you would enter in the IP address, the port, and the password of your server. The SID, server ID, you leave this as it is because you're talking about a, a Shoutcast version 1 server. If you had a Shoutcast version 2 server, then you would enter in some information right here. But leave this as it is for a shoutcast version one. And down here where it says private statistic relay, do not show on audio realm. Well, since I don't have an audio realm account, I'll click on that button and then click OK. And you have information placed down here. So what I'll do right now is go to the listen to my radio website, log into my account and turn on my server and come back here. So here I am at the listen to my radio website. I'm going to log into my account. And right here it says stream status, stream is off. Turn on, click here. So I'm going to click on this little link right here, then scroll down and click turn on. And right there down in the blue, it says radio is turning on. It's going to take a few moments. Oftentimes if you refresh the page, you'll see that it's turned on. So give it about a minute and then do a, then do a refresh on the page and see there it says stream is on. Now, I'm going to minimize this and go back to my SAM broadcaster control panel and let me go over to desktop A. And notice here it says status encoding. And down here on my statistical relays here, it shows my bit rate at 96 kilobits per second. And it shows that I have uh, 0 slash 5,000. That means right now I have zero persons listening in and I can have up to 5,000 concurrent listeners. And right now we're encoding, but we're not sending anything out. So in other words, Sam Broadcaster is prepared to encode whatever I send out. So my next step now is to add some music in here as a test. And then we will go to the website and see if we can hear it. So to do that, I'm going to drag some music uh, into the queue here and then click the play button and you'll see that the stream will be going out. Then I'll go to a website and then you can listen to the music. OK, so let's try that. Let me grab some music and I have some sample songs here. I'll drag and drop them in here. All right, they're there. Now, again, I'm encoding now. So what I'll do here is I'll click the play button up here. I'll reduce the volume just a little bit here so I can talk to you. So right now, this song by Acoustic Alchemy is being streamed out over the internet. Now I can go to a website and listen to the stream. And I so happen to have set up one at internetradiostation.com. So let's go there. And I have a link uh, right here, Rip Radio Smooth Jazz. And I've placed a little player there. So let me turn the volume down, okay? Now, if I click on this, I should be able to hear that stream. And this is that stream. Streaming at uh, 96 kilobits per second. And that sounds very good. Okay, so the main thing that you've learned here, you've learned how to set up your encoders and you've learned how to set up your statistic relays. Okay, this is Ronnie J from Internet Radio Station. See you on the next video.